Hi, I'm Tom Norfleet with Citizenship Quickly, and the date is April the 26th, 2020. Ireland has a great passport, having visa-free or visa-free on arrival, access to the USA, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and of course the Xinjiang countries of Europe. As of the 7th of April 2020, Irish citizens had visa-free or visa-free on arrival access to 186 countries and territories, ranking the Irish passport six in terms of travel freedom, tied with Dutch, French, Portuguese, and Swedish passports. Also, if you'll go to www.citizenshipquickly.com and hit the question bar at the top of the website and fill that out, we'll, and we'll get some help back to you on, on any questions that you've got. The Ireland uh, Immigrant Investor Program was established in 2012 to allow wealthy individuals and families from outside the European Union to obtain residency in Ireland in exchange for making an approved investment in the Irish economy. The investor must show that he has a net worth of at least 2 million euros to apply. The options that the investor has uh, to, to, to choose from are as follows, and that is number one, uh, you can choose what's called the enterprise uh, investment. Under this option, Ireland Investor Visa, applicants must invest at least 1 million euros into a qualifying Irish enterprise for at least three years. The enterprise can be an existing business or it can be a business that's uh, started by the investor. Uh, the enterprise must be registered in Ireland and the headquarters must be located in the country. The enterprise must also help the Irish economy by creating or maintaining local jobs. Um, and you're not permitted to qualify under this option through the purchase of publicly traded shares or real estate that you intend to rent to actual tenants. Uh, and you got another second option here, which is called the Real Estate Investment Trust also called a REIT, R-E-I-T. Under this investor visa uh, Ireland option, candidates must invest in an Irish REIT. A REIT is a listed company used to hold rental property in a manner that mitigates investor risk, yet avoids double taxation. A REIT will typically invest in a diverse pool of properties so as to minimize risk and must distribute most of its profits each year. To qualify for Irish residency under this option, applicants must invest at least 2 million euros into one or more qualifying REITs for at least three years. The REIT must either be listed on the Irish Stock Exchange or have already applied for listing and given notice of the same to the revenue authorities. Investors must maintain the original number of shares they purchase for the full three years, even if their value rises above the $2 million investment requirement. After three years, the investor uh, may uh, divest a maximum of 50% of his or her shares, and then one later, they may be allowed to divest an, uh, divest an additional 25%, and then after a total of five years from the original date of purchase, he may fully divest the money at that point. Uh, there's a third option, too, called the endowment or donation option. Under this uh, Ireland in, uh, Investor Protection Program, candidates must donate at least 500,000 euros to a qualifying philanthropic uh, project in arts, sports, health, culture, or education. Uh, immigrant uh, investors must not receive any financial return on their contribution since this option does not require an investment, uh, and there is no minimum holding period for this. To be eligible to apply for Irish citizenship by investment, immigrant investors must have been resident in Ireland for at least 12 months immediately prior to their application date, and they must have been resident in Ireland for at least four out of the immediately preceding five years prior to their application date. For citizenship eligibility purposes, residency requires an actual physical presence in the country, although a person can be considered a resident of Ireland if they leave from time to time for business trips or vacations. Candidates must spend most of their time in any given year physically present in Ireland in order to be considered a resident uh, you know, of Ireland for that year. Uh, and Ireland does allow for dual citizenship. The health care and education system is quite good in Ireland. Um, Ireland taxes residents on their worldwide income, and this is one thing I don't like. Um, it doesn't have a territorial tax system, and it does not have, it's not a pure tax haven. The individual income tax is actually quite high at 40%, uh, which is the maximum rate. The corporate, in tax, uh, the corporate income tax rate is 12.5%. Uh, the VAT in Ireland runs as high as 23%. Property taxes run from 0.18 to 0.25% of the property value. 
uh, the stamp duty when a property sells runs from 1% to 2% of the amount of the property on what it's sold for. Uh, there is a 33% capital gains tax when a property is sold. Uh, the GDP per capita of Ireland in 2019 was 79,259 U.S. dollars. So it's quite high. People do make real good money there. It, uh, it's, it's gone up quite a bit over the last 10 years. Uh, my evaluation of this program is as follows. Uh, Ireland's got a great passport and allows dual citizenship, uh, but you're going to have to pay quite a bit of taxes when you add up everything overall, uh, especially, you know, they're including your worldwide income uh, while you're waiting for the passport. Uh, Ireland also has the worst weather of any place I've ever been to. I was there actually back in 2008, and it actually snowed the end of June when I was there, and uh, the weather was just freezing. I had a ski jacket for two weeks while I was there, and this was in June. Uh, so th this is, uh, if you like freezing cold weather and it rains a lot, then this might be a place for you. If you like nice tropical weather with a lot of sun shining, uh, this is not your place to go. It's probably the worst in the world for that. Uh, and it's going to take you at least five years before you can actually apply for the passport and citizenship. But I'm going to tell you, on these residency by investment programs, uh, count on seven to ten years to be conservative before, you know, you actually get the passport and citizenship. And I've gone through these different steps in my other videos. Uh, but remember, a, a good fast track program, if you're in a rush to get citizenship, uh, this is not the way to go. OK, um, I've mentioned in other videos that, uh, you know, if you're looking for a good fast track program, uh, then don't bypass these following steps I'm getting ready to tell you about. Uh, it makes things a lot smoother. Get a citizenship program that you know you can get as long as you have no civil or criminal past. I'm talking about guaranteeing that you'll get it as long as you don't have a civil or criminal problem. When you get a residency by investment that leads up to citizenship, man, there's a lot of things that can go on between the time you apply and the time you get that passport because we're talking about years down the road. A lot of these residency by investment countries don't go by their statutory requirement after the minimum uh, residency requirements have been made, therefore messing up your plans for a passport in a reasonable amount of time. I see this happen over and over and over again. And make sure the country you're applying for has no military requirements. This is a key thing. And number three is make sure the tax system that's in place for that country is either a territorial tax system or a pure tax haven and does not tax worldwide income on the investment income that you have. Uh, Ireland does tax worldwide income, so it doesn't, it doesn't check that box. Uh, make sure there is no language requirement uh, that you're already affluent in the, uh, the language because I've seen so many people that don't get the passport uh, because they can't speak the language. Now, obviously, you know, everybody speaks English because they're looking at this video. Uh, so you, you won't have that problem with Ireland. That is one plus with this that you don't have to worry about because if you speak English, you don't have to be, a, you know, uh, you don't have to be um, good in, in any other language but English. Uh, and always verify that dual citizenship is allowed or don't engage in that program. Now, Ireland does allow for dual citizenship, so this is a big advantage that you have with that passport. And you want to get a passport that allows as many visa-free countries as you can get, but uh, having the requirements that I've mentioned you know, prior here. Um, now, Ireland does have a good passport. you got visa-free to the U.S., New Zealand, Canada, the U.K., um, and so, you know, it, it does... Check a lot of the boxes there. It's a, it's a very good passport as far as visa-free travel. But the key is, do you want to have to go through all the hassles, the high taxes, the bad weather, the time period it's going to take, you know, if you, if you can even get the passport during that period of time, and then look at the amount you're going to have to invest, and you're going to have to have a net worth of uh, quite a bit of money to uh, just go in the program. So these are some key things that you want to look at. Anyway, if you want to learn more on how to get your taxes legally to zero or close to zero or how to get a second passport in as quick as three to four months, do three things. Hit the subscribe button to the right of your screen and you'll get new videos as they come out automatically. And number two is I'd like to hear from you if you'll hit the, uh, the um, comment button below and uh, send that back to us. We'll answer any questions that you've got. 
And number three, just go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com. We deal with about 74 citizenship by investment, residency by investment countries. If you're not interested in this country, you might be invest, uh, interested in the other ones that we, we deal with. We are partial to the Caribbean because it checks all the boxes. It's, you don't have the language uh, requirement problem. You don't have, uh, it, it requires a small investment. Uh, you have visa free to all the Shenzhen countries, allows dual citizenship. It just checks all the boxes and you can get it quick. Uh, but if you go to our website and then hit the question bar at the top and then fill out those questions and get them back to us, we can see what we can do to help you. And I'll look forward to talking to you on the next video. Take care.